that's pretty much it for the unboxing of the all new Cardo Pack Top Edge Duo. So this is the Duo version, meaning it's meant for two riders or two helmets. But it also comes in a standalone package, exactly same size box, but with fewer components meant for only one rider or one helmet. So that's the only difference aside from the price. And here in the Philippines, it ranges from 34,000 upwards up to 37,000. But before all that details, let's first check out what's inside how to set it up, and what's it like for me as a first-time cardio user, if is it worth it, or is it worth it for you guys to upgrade to this Packtalk Edge. So let's check it out. All right, so there you go. The all-new Cardo Packtalk Edge Duo. So right out of the box, it says here Bluetooth 5.2. So this is the all-new and improved faster Bluetooth connection. So they say you will see a significant increase in Bluetooth pairing or communicating with other devices, even other brands sound by JBL so it still uses premium JBL speakers but the drivers on this one are bigger so the sound quality and the bass should technically sound better as for the dynamic mesh communications this is also just a new and improved technology that makes connection and talking to other cardo device more seamless and more dynamic and lastly operated by natural voice so this cardo in particular picks up voice commands way faster and less troublesome and basically on the right it says the exact same thing with a QR code here for the app that you have to download later and at the back we see more features so like I said the second generation dynamic mesh which basically just improves the communication in between cardos we also have the waterproof like all cardos as well as air mount also known as the magnetic mount and the universal Bluetooth connection intercom which means you can connect with other Bluetooth devices and lastly over the air updates because unlike the older cardos you have to plug in a physical cable for this one, you can just do it over Wi-Fi or via the app. All right, so now let's get inside the packaging. Right now, this thing is priced at around 34,000, upwards up to 37,000 in Philippines. So opening the box from the top, we have a very premium looking hard case for your devices, very Apple-esque. And right off the bat, you'll be greeted by the two Cardo systems. We'll put that in the side for a bit. And the two pairs of connector kits for both devices. So these are two identical boxes. We'll check them out later. But first, let's check out all the freebies. So we have a Cardo waterproof sticker and of course a pair of Packtalk Edge pocket guide for each rider. Alright, so now let's open the first box. In here we have a pair of JBL speakers. So this has some weight to it. So these are bigger than the previous generation and you can feel the premiumness and weight of it. So let's put this to the side. And we also have a USB-C. So the new Edge comes with a faster charging via USB-C unlike the older versions with the micro USB. So this is a really welcome addition. And in here we have the air mount. It looks very sleek with all the cables here. It's way sleeker than the previous generations. And I really think it would fit well on my Arai Rapid Neo. So let's put that to the side. Inside the box, we also have this half helmet kit. So this microphone is meant for half-faced helmet or modular helmets. So I'll put that to the side again. And inside this goodie box, we have a set of Velcros for the helmets. And of course, the stickers that connect the helmet and the air mount. So I'll show you guys how to install this later. So with this set, you can actually install this on various ways. This is meant for full face helmet. Well, this is meant for narrow trimmed helmets. So you can just slot this in on the side and clip the cardo in but we won't be using any of this. What we'll need are the pair of speakers, the 3M mount, the air mount, and of course a microphone. So this one just sticks in front of your helmet chin on the inside. And this is what we'll use for our Arai full face helmet. So we no longer have to go through this another set of box because they contain the exact same contents. And now let's check out the Cardo device itself. So let's check one out. It's fairly light. It looks sleeker obviously compared to the older generation and it no longer has that pop-up antenna but surprisingly it has the exact same battery life, range, and capacity for how many riders it can accommodate but obviously it's much more lighter, much more slimmer, and much more sleeker but also much more expensive. So you have your volume dial here and you also have a pair of buttons here. At the back we have a flap for your charging. I really wish this was just magnetic like the air mount but we can't have everything. Very sleek package, very light package actually and it matches my helmet really well. All right so this is the all new air mount and it clips on like this and to remove it just press down on this and then slide it out. I'm not really sure how life-changing that is because how often do you actually remove your cardo while on a ride? At most, you'd probably remove it at home. So magnetic mount, sure, it helps. But I'm not really sure how helpful it is when riding. The efficiency-wise, I can't really say if it's a big enough change for you to upgrade on this one. Okay, so now let's go on with the installation. So I have here my Arai Rapid Neo helmet. And it should be pretty straightforward. So the first thing I have to do is remove this side cheeks. 
there okay all right so there you go once removed let's put the helmet to the side first and now we have to locate where we can place the speakers and lucky enough for the Arai Rapid Neo there's a space here if you peel this off where you could place conveniently your JBL speaker so let's try that out and as you can see it fits there snugly just perfect and you can cover it up and you won't even know it's there so very easy i don't even have to use the velcros that comes with it because this cover helps keep it in place but maybe we'll use some spacers just to push up the speakers a little bit more so let's place it there and then place the cardo back inside and there you go the speaker is now much closer to your ear now let's do it on the other side so same thing here just peel this off add another spacer and then put the speakers back in and that's pretty much it for the speakers okay seamless but before you put everything back just be sure that whichever this side the cardo is facing the cable input should be on that side as well all right so now let's assemble everything back to place there you go put it in and lastly the excess cable can be hidden behind the neck it's up to you where you guys want to put it but for me just put it here and that's pretty much it so the cables are now hidden and out of sight and you shouldn't be able to feel the cable whenever you're holding the helmet or else you'll feel it whenever you're on a long ride so just be sure to cover it up nicely so now that we have that set up let's put on the mic we'll be using this lapel kind of mic or this wired mic and to place this inside we'll need a velcro but since my Arai already comes with a velcro I just need to place it here inside there if you can see it there and of course last but not the least now we have to prep the surface for the installation of the cardio device so we will be using this 3m tape to install this air mount on the helmet itself but first we have to clean this up we have to remove all the oil and dirt it comes with this alcohol pad so just to make sure it sticks nicely there all right so now that it's prepped we can now put the cardo in to install just use this mount with the 3m tape on it and align and clip it onto the air mounts so there you go Let's now stick the cardo. Just make sure that the cardo is as close to the trim as possible, meaning it's closer to this black trim so the wires don't stick up that much. But for me, I'll try to place it a little bit higher than normal because for the Arai Rapid Neo, there's this trim that pushes up the cardo a little bit higher. So let's try to put it here. Now all that's left is to just plug the microphone and the speakers back in like so and then this. Okay, so there you go. I just need to tuck this in a little bit more. You now have a card hole in your helmet. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The only thing really left to do is just to download the app and pair it to the device. And from there, you can just stream music, connect to your navigation app. So who is this for? It's obviously for someone who wants to connect with other riders whenever you're in a group riding, but it's also meant for someone who commutes daily, who wants to use this to listen to music and answers call occasionally, and really just wants a seamless device that you can use for the weekends or for the daily commute. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still love riding solo or without music, but sometimes when you're navigating or commuting, you just want navigation. Or maybe when you're in a long highway, you just want music to change the mood up a little bit. So this car is meant for you also i think this is for someone who doesn't have a cardo yet it's not meant for someone who wants to upgrade to this one unless if you have multiple helmets or have a lot of money so maybe you can get this as a secondary communications device but for the price that it is i don't think it's a worthy enough upgrade from the cardo backup bone